the coil is doing right now, the TMS is uh, being delivered to the motor cortex of the hand, uh, which is uh, the electrical pulses from the coil are actually converted into magnetic pulses, and that's what goes through the scalp and the skull and eventually stimulate groups of neurons uh, underlying beneath the coil. And so these neurons are now getting um, electricity injected to them, so they are actually firing. These groups of neurons are going to be uh, discharging in a synchronized manner. So you, in, a, in a way you're exercising his exactly. hand motor function. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And, and what would be different if in the depression treatments that when you target the this other portion of the brain that deals with emotion. So in the, in the, that region of the brain has been shown in depressed patients to have decreased blood flow as well as glucose metabolism in that region. Okay. So the interest there with these mm. with TMS would be to again increase the blood flow by increasing the, the neuronal firing and so you're making them work more mm -hmm. so that they get more blood flow and increase your glucose metabolism, okay. increase their glucose uptake so that you can operate Regulate. That's the term mm -hmm. used usually to increase function in a given region. So in the depressed, it's actually decreased, and you want to bring it up. Yeah. Here in the normal volunteers, it's normal, mm -hmm. but we, can, we want to see can you increase it beyond that. So would this be something in, in, in the Olympics out in the future? Or are we going to like be the drugs? About, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's certainly the. I think the effect is not going to be as as quick as you know you would expect from a medication or a drug. Yeah. It certainly is much more slower because you really have you know you're firing a group of neurons for them to actually. Okay, it's like learning anything. You have to yeah. repeat. You have to read something many times and you know, go do a problem many, many times before mm -hmm. you can actually understand and to do it automatically. So it, in that fashion, it's much more slower paced mm -hmm. learning. Um, but it may, we hope it will eventually influence your retention and mm -hmm. you know, you can learn to a higher level or you can mm -hmm. retain it longer. Mm -hmm. Both would be effective and you know, useful in, in treatments. And ultimately, besides the, the work they're doing now with depression that is FDA regulated, um, the hope for the future would be uh, patients who may be paralyzed in a part yes. of their body? Yes. As I said, there are studies which are actually looking at that. It's NIH-funded studies looking at motor rehabilitation mm -hmm. using TMS. Okay. So certainly uh, that's a very active research field. Yeah.